What's up guys and welcome back to episode 11 of my Newcastle United career mode. Up next we've got a match against Norwich City who are sitting in 14th at the moment, 3 places below us. And see here we've just got a message from Stephen Taylor requesting a transfer request as he's not being paid enough on the, on the pitch, which is fair enough. Um, bringing in Bruno Quellamanga and Jamal Lascelles from Nottingham Forest. Obviously he's not going to get a good game time, so even if he is a Newcastle United le legend, I'm going to put him on the transfer list. What I'm going to do first of all is going to go straight into this match. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the team lineup first of all, to see if we can bring anybody in to replace the squad codes. In the last episode, as you can see, we did lose against uh, Chelsea, which was 3-0. That was coming off the back of a 2-1 victory against Arsenal in the Capital One Cup, where we actually managed to get a victory in the 8th, 7th million and with the third and needed to snatch goal. Patch was fantastic. Taking a look, Emmanuel Ridia is still out, so we've got Ferry and Alexander Lacazette up front, which is absolutely fine with me. I'm going to stick with the formation I played against Chelsea. I think it was simply a bad day for everybody all round. Hopefully we can produce a, a decent result against Norwich City. Um, we are both quite close to the table there, um, 11th and 14th. We need to start picking up the points if we do want to qualify for Europe this which is the, the goal set by the, the board. If we don't get that, it could, be, could mean that this career mode is over before it's even the good way. Here we are, kick off in here's Park. We should be picking up three points at home. Obviously, Norwich City have a bit of a history. This union was sacked by Newcastle and then Norwich City brought him on. Since then, he hasn't really done too much for them, even if he is, you know, considered one of the nice guys in football. But hopefully, we can get a decent result against him here. And obviously, I'm sure we, we've made the progress here. But Yamat's on the ball here. He's been one of my Star player really, really, really well since he's come in. Absolutely fantastic player and a dynamic right back. Definitely one of the, the better players so far, along with Remy Cabea, who's done really well as well. And, you know, ignoring the fact that Anjandi Lacazette has been our, our star man up front, you know, scoring goals, dragging us out of losing positions and bringing us back into the game. Downey Yanmat and Remy Cabea have been the other two players who have really dominated kind of performance so far, which is really, really good to see. Good to see them getting in well. But, of the other players, there's nobody really standing out at the moment in terms of who's doing really well. You can see that Soto making a lovely run. Just trying to whip it round the defence just to get a little bit more angle on the ball, but Gary didn't find Hooper. much there. Norwich City on the tag here, they've got Gary Hooper up front, um, and who's that? That's Townsend and Pilkington as well. Um, all very good players, obviously, Gary Hooper is going to be one of the, the main players to target. They is quite tall, so obviously, he's going to be a bit of a threat up front, but hopefully, we can contain them. But just losing out on the ball there when we're trying to play an attack for Colacini again. He's been our, our best defender so far really. You know, doing well in, in terms of holding down that captain's position, leaving from the back, doing really, really well. And here's Darianna on the ball again. Fern the needle who scored the, the last gap sort of winner against Arsenal um, in the 87th minute of the Cup, moment. which allowed us to advance. I think we're now in the quarterfinals. Um, possibly going to be facing Liverpool which is going to be a, another tough match but facing Arsenal and, and winning 2-1 is going to be a big boost for our in that cup and you know given the fact that we don't have a real, really good chance to, to win the Premier League a, a cup on the league is what we're going to do I'm hoping that it's hitting the same way well other than this match it's not really been chances to law so far you know, it's been a, a midfield sort of Dominate performance, a lot of the action has been around the midfield area, winning the ball back, trying to get it back. But you can see that again, just you know, the, the midfield no making all the work there, not really giving the defence too much hard work. But as you can see that Pilkington making an absolutely lovely run there, just skips past the defender there, tries to make it happen again, and to push them out wide. And that's an absolutely lovely goal there. I don't know who was marking him there, I think it was Yang Hen B, I think Yang B would jump up. Or uh, Pilgrim King just won't have him and managed to win that one there. At home, going down 1-0 within, within 20 minutes, it's not a great boost of confidence. We need to pick ourselves up here to make sure that something happens. Here's Yanmat again on the ball, demonstrating all the sort of qualities that I've been just trying before. Pushing forward, trying to make things happen. He's burning the on the on the wing. Absolutely lovely ball in, but nobody manages to get to it. It's a little bit disappointing. Sosoko, another player who is still well at times, not Scala, but he, he's done well. And Jan Matt again on the ball, actually forming down the right hand side quite frequently. There's a lovely ball, just manages to get his head on it. And it's just wide there, but it's a good effort, shows how intense, shows we want to get back in the game. We're not going to drop off, but 
you know, there's going to be difficult breaking down the Norwich's defence. They're going to have to play back in numbers. They're going to have to make sure that we, we don't see the game because going to go down realistically, I don't see that back into it. We, we get into that position. Um, here's Cabello on the ball. Here's a lovely ball for Lacazette. Lacazette out start man really. Provided assists, provided goals. Um, he's done so much so far for the team and I really, really hope that even if we don't qualify for years, we want to stay, but we basically should be playing for seniors and stay for years. And that's a lovely ball, but we got five there. Problem was, obviously, Remy Cabella there, runs on the ball, sees the run, but sees it way too late, and as a result of that, it's offside by a significant amount there. You can see here, Norwich City actually played it short there. Uh, we can be a foul there, you know, just leading to the advantage there. Clint from the back, so that is absolutely fine, but. Obviously our intent is there, wanting to get on the ball, that's an absolutely lovely ball down the left hand side. The DD fans are just knocking him off the ball there, Rose Bay able to pick that up there. The East area there, not really done too much so far since uh, we've played some manual with the air, but trying to make things happen there. That's an absolutely lovely ball, and here's a chance for him, chance, oh, and that's a really, really good save there. Fantastic effort, it was low down, which is always difficult for the to get to, but I think it was... A song he made a mistake there, tried to control the ball, made a mistake, sorry he ran in, uh, but couldn't quite finish it there. Bernie is going to be taking the corner again, not really done too much from the corner so far, but you know, the again, finally, well and that's how you getting on the ball, but uh, John Ruddy making easy work of that cross there, just picking it up, putting it from the air. Remy Cabello back on the ball now, here's Sarri again. Sarri trying to make something happen, trying to bring Lacazette into the game, hasn't quite managed it there with a the lot well of three ball, a little bit disappointing there, but. You know, we've we've done well so far since going down we've we've created chances of trying to make things happen but not been working out as yet and just skips past the challenge of the day fans on there, really disappointing but polishing back on it. The muscles in our wide possibly to go wide and possibly looking across so it might be a little bit better. And there's Yang who was clearing up after they they let the ball in and then lack of that back in the ball again now, here's the lack of that barrier. There's Remy Cabello there, doesn't the worst, quite have the strength to be passing the song, the song just stays up there. For a song, a uh, former Newcastle player that I, I think, um, obviously, Martin didn't speak to me well, wasn't very popular, Gary got Hooper. injured quite frequently and didn't, you know, play too many games for us, was known as quite a Jay rash player, you know, dived into quite a few challenges, made too many mistakes really. Um, and that's, that's why we didn't really like him. He's very, very game on the ball. He's done well in this game, you know, a little bit of criticism, but he's done well there. There's Lackey there, trying to play in Terry again. It doesn't quite work out with John Woody plays up there. Terry's got a touch on that, and Woody was in that kind of no man's land. Probably would be on the back net, but John Woody was really well there, just cleaned up. Showing the command of his area there. And Norwich City, they've been a, a tough opposition to break down. Their defence has held up really well against the, the lock of three balls, which normally. Um, works quite well. You know, possibly might have to try a different formation at half time, possibly to try and take them down. Um, you know, we've, we've got quite a few midfielders, you know, that maybe it's sort of negative because it means that we're not creating too many chances, playing a little bit more defensive. But we just lose the ball there with Jan Mass, but he comes back, he tries to win the ball back, and we've got, we force that wide, not difficult to, to get across, and we've got a, a lovely headed clearance there, lovely. So That's half time. I do think time we need to change the formation. I think the, the wow, midfield is a little bit packed. Uh, I don't think we've got any width up, really. Right so I'm wondering if we change the formation and bring on a couple of players who I think might possibly um, yeah, give them a little bit of change there. Because you can see there, we're playing sort of a 4 3 1 2 at the moment. So what I'm thinking is playing a 4 2 3 1 wide, which is going to give us a little bit more width. And this is what I'm going to go with. Obviously, I want to have Rem Kibaya as the central attacking midfielder. I'm going to have Musa Soko and Che Tiote in those two positions and then I'm going to have Samuel Mugen in the left and then I'm going to have um, who should I have on the right? I'm thinking Musa Sissoko on the right because I know he can play in that um, and then Ben Neal and Che Tiote there on the left. I think that's, that's the formation I'm going to go with. Hopefully that will give us Few opportunities to get the ball in the cross because the problem is we're playing too narrow at the moment, and with playing too narrow, we just trying to break down the Norwich City defence. That hasn't really worked. Hopefully, these changes will spring a few tries on their team, and we'll be able to generate some chances there. There's lack of that. Very quickly getting on the ball. Here's Sammy Amiobi. Sammy Amiobi with a really hot prospect for Newcastle. Someone who 
was tipped to do well. I think his name to precede him, you know, the, one of the Amiadi brothers, one of them served for, I think, close to 10, 20 years of his life at Newcastle and then left. Um, didn't really feature too much, wasn't a prolific goal scorer, but I think in the mind of many Newcastle players um, and fans, even if he didn't do too much, he still held as a, as a well remembered player. Really. He had lacked out on the ball, just pulled up really well. He tries to play a three ball head. Doesn't manage it, but pulls on the ball really well there. And there's that wicket on top of that. That's going to be really beneficial for us. We need to do that, and that's a lovely blue ball. That's really, really good blue ball. Good really corner off that. It's fantastic. Glenn Meeker again going to play that one. Here's Colachini on the ball. Oh, oh, and that's a really, really good effort. It's another corner. I think the wick has really helped. He's done exactly what we wanted to do. We we'll just whip that one again in the game. He's moved to Sergio back on the ball. Tries to make that one in again. Colicini on there. Doesn't quite manage it. Amiobi will be picking the ball up again. Doesn't quite manage it again. And now it's hitting break out and clear that ball there. That's good defending there. We've had a couple of good chances there, but the goalkeeper's been, you know, equal to the chances we've created. Sam Amiobi back on the ball again. Pulled up the ball well. Waits for Davide Santon. Davide Santon. Back on the ball. Sammy Amiobi there played a lovely ball through to Davide Santon, which is absolutely lovely. Tries to play in the cross again, doesn't quite manage it. Again, crosses are the one thing that we haven't really managed to quite nail yet. Um, you know, we, we haven't created too many chances in front of them. But there's some lovely passage of play there. Doing really well, and Soko just wins the ball back really well there. Counter shot. Oh, that's a fantastic finish! Moose is a Soko there, just puts on the pressure against Norwich City, takes the ball off a mistake from the defender and held on the hips for too long. Look at that. Not well, I think it's the song again who makes the mistake. Um, and that gives us an opportunity to get back in the game. Now 1-1 one, one with about 30 minutes to go out. It's really, really good. We can push on now with getting decent results, and that gives them much needed three points, and we hopefully move the table now. But as you can see, um, Norwich City aren't going to lie down and take that there, don't find it, and there's a mistake straight away, Tim Poole there just manages to just carry it away, and what we really need to do here is we need to clear the ball, Remick Bay on the ball now, there's Lacazette on the ball, and Lacazette just trying to make something happen, hold on the bill really well there, and then just loses it out there, I don't think there was, there was too much on there, there weren't many players forward, um, it wasn't a whole lot he could do with that, but, you know, he did well to hold on the ball, but, you want players to push it forward there in those kind of opportunities. There's Moose Soko, we're going to play on the ball. Here's the Lacazette again. With Lacazette on his own now, it's going to be difficult for him to create chances. That's what he's been good at previously with Rivia in that kind of second striker position, being able to hold up the ball, run under the, the passes from, from Lacazette. That's what he's been good at. Now we need Bremen to play in that central attack in the position to create chances. And there's a lovely ball there, and Lacazette the almost gets onto that, but the is equal to the game. With Ferrier coming off, I think it's, it's benefited us, because Ferrier hasn't done too much in this match. He has had a couple of chances and hasn't really put them away, but Lacazette definitely the better player. Um, I can't see Ferrier, you know, this place in the less he scores a lot of goals, and that's a lovely blue ball. Lacazette now completely through. Lacazette! That's a penalty, surely! He tugged off the ball! That's disappointing there. Moose is out there, just muscled off the ball there. That's really disappointing there. I really think that should have been a penalty. That was, you know, a definite tug. Whether he had a goal scored opportunity, I don't know, but the referee should have seen that one. That's a real disappointment there. But now we're seeing now on the attack, throwing the through ball, and Tinkle punches out of the way with the searching. And here we go, we're possibly on the counter attack. Here's Remy Kabaya. Remy Kabaya sees Sami Amiobi, Sami Amiobi running on the ball for all, using his pace. Here's the cross. Plays in the ball, oh, John Ruddy equals that one, just really well there. That's a good effort there. Sami Amiobi running on the through ball, whipping it into the, the box, and it's John Ruddy who manages to claim that one first there. Really Amiobi. good effort though, um, just really well. And here's Sami Amiobi on the ball again. Just must have let out with, with two defenders on him there. Um, couldn't do too much, but... We've done well so far, the, the change of formation has definitely helped, but he is now sitting on the attack, on the attack. Oh, Leroy Burr just, from a, a good attack, Norwich City have, have pushed it down behind the defence and as a result of that, we, I think it was two on two at that point, um, and they just 
pass it to a player who was marked or it wasn't really marked too tightly and now we're two on down two on down at home that's not what you wanted Chelsea now on the ball we really need to get a goal we really need to not lose this match because we've lost too many so far and again that's just we've just had situations where we've been pushed off the ball by Norwich City defenders and I think they have been fouled I think any of the referees probably would have given that but you know it's just one of those things there's not a whole lot you can do about it Referee's a referee at the end of the day. Got to respect his decisions. Remy Kabea trying to make something happen. Passes it to Sami Amrabi. Sami Amrabi trying to make something happen down his wing. Doesn't quite manage it, but manages to get it going. And they're taking off the one side. Exactly. Scored that. Scored that winning goal there. So again, we're just trying to make something happen here. It's a little bit difficult. It's tough breaking them down. Look how many players they've got back. Here's Musa Soko. Musa Soko passes it to Lacazette. Lacazette there. On. Tries to spin to, to get a, a shot of goal, but doesn't quite manage it there. Huge disappointment. Realistically, do I see him getting back into this? Unless we can get the ball now, which we can't. Right, we're just going to have to go for this now. It's a case of all or nothing, basically. Um, we really do need to make something happen in this situation. Remy Cabella. Here's Remy Cabella. Oh, that's a lovely clearance. Lovely, lovely clearance. Need to see De Santon back on the ball. Norwich City can well defend him so far, but we really need to make something happen. And again, don't quite manage it with the cross. Oh, and there was Sami Amiobi's opportunity. It was a lovely through ball. It just catches him, and that's it. It's another loss there. That's a bit of defeat. Leroy Burke scored the winning goal. It was a smash and grab from Norwich, but we definitely had to. Again, demonstrating something we've had all season long. We've had more shots, more shots on target, better possession, but we're not able to finish. And I'm not quite sure why that is yet. I don't know what it is that we're doing wrong, that we're not able to score those goals. Let's take a look at the table, see where we are at the moment. Um, and we'll find out how we're doing because so far we've not done particularly well there. Thanks, Martin and Alan. As you can see, they're still sitting in 11th place on 14 points. Let's take a look at the table and see who else we've got in front of us. Possible that Aston Villa could push us down to 12 if they win their next game. Um, and take a look at all of the teams above us as well. They take a look, take a look there. Probably going to pick up points. It's going to be difficult to move the map position to, to get there. As long as the likes of Fulham Stoke City drop points and they still don't know if you can qualify for Europe, but it's going to be really, really tough. Um, as you can see, our next match is actually going to be against Tottenham Hotspur. We'll play that match in the next episode, and I'm going to see you then. Cheers. Don't forget to click subscribe for all the latest videos.